Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Watts Ashy Wednesday with Team Insignia and Remax Realty Group. And today we're standing inside of the Jay Houston home here in North Grove, which is a master plan community in Watts Ashy, just north of 77. It's going to have walking trails, parks, an amenity center, and lots and lots of homes for all these people that are moving into Watts Ashy. So I'm standing here with Curtis Green and a couple of guys from Safe and Secure, and Curtis is going to talk to us a little bit about the program called Build Watts Ashy. Correct, Chris? Uh, yes, it's Bill Watts um, uh, I've been teaching uh, the construction classes uh, in the architecture and construction cl cluster with uh, Watts High School for about four years now. And uh, two and a half years ago, I had this idea that I needed to try and get some real world experience for my students. So uh, I, I reached out to uh, the John Houston uh, company and uh, they responded in kind. They were like, yeah, it sounds like a good idea. There's lots of uh, lots of demand. We have a lot of uh, employment needs. We all of our trades are uh, short-handed, uh, so we're going to we'll uh, we'll work this project and uh, we had to negotiate this, negotiate that. And we finally got uh, uh, permission from the school district and uh, uh, waivers uh, for for John Houston's uh, liability. We had some issues that we had to take care of with that. And uh, once we got all that lined out, they. Um, Said, okay, here's your house. You guys can come in and uh, work on it. You can uh, come and look at it. You can spend, you know, class time. So uh, we started doing that in February of this okay. year. And uh, so the first day we came out, we stood on the, the, the land here. Uh, they had scraped the dirt and they had not done anything else but that. Oh wow! And the next week we came out and. Um, they had put the forms up and we started, so we got to walk on the foundation and got to see all the pipe in the, in the ground and the reinforcement concrete and everything. And then uh, the next week we were out here and they were uh, had the concrete pumping and we got to stand up just right over here behind where we're at right now and watch the, the entire foundation be poured. And uh, I, I still remember this, this corner, when they were pumping this corner when we were uh, out here, so it was really... Uh, uh, really exciting for the kids. They got to, you know, most of them don't ever get to see that kind of stuff. Well, no. and, and in, in a classroom setting, I guarantee you, you can't not simulate it. Not in a <laughs> so uh, we've had real life experience with this house, and uh, uh, John Houston has been uh, uh, very, very accommodating. They had their job supervisors out, and uh, this week we are uh, installing all the hard hardware. Uh, for all the doors, uh, the, the door stops, and, and, and that's because Safe and Secure is willing to, to work with us and allow uh, my students to come in and uh, get that actual hands-on experience. They're working hand-in-hand -hand with their supervisors, and okay. uh, it's been uh, just just today meeting these guys and, and uh, getting this started has been a real, real plus for it. So right. we're real excited about uh, the future that's coming. It definitely sounds like an exciting program. And you're right, there is a shortage of tradespeople with all the building that's happening uh, in, in not only Los Angeles, but Ellis County for sure. Absolutely. And guys, introduce yourselves, tell us a little bit about your company and why you think it's a good idea to partner with the program. Sure, so I'm Michael Schneider, and this is Ryan Wilcox for the Safety and Secure Home Solutions. And, and you know, uh, in our business, People are the most important thing. Like skilled labor, skilled trades are what we do. And so there has been a shortage, especially here in Texas, in North Texas, especially, uh, in skilled labor. And that's an unfortunate thing because as, as kiddos are getting out of high school and going into college, technology, you know, web design, things like that have been so much more popular than skilled trades. And there's so many opportunities. We're talking about just the deficiency with the Dallas Builders Association, just skilled uh, trade labor here in town. So, you know, just get your start out by learning. Uh, from the ground floor, literally like, like the, the pouring of a foundation and how a home is built that, that based on the construction. So what they're doing today is they're learning uh, that initial skilled trade that they can come in right out of high school and actually do as a job, build their career, and they continue to, to build from that. You, know, you hear engineering, you hear uh, specialty skills. There's there's places that these students not only can, can start today and learn, but you can see where that might help guide them through college and in their professional career. I think this is just awesome. I think it's great that there's there's a school that's that's progressive enough to think about this. That it's the time to get them now. You just you can see it on their faces when you walk up out. That they're excited. They, they want to learn. So it's it's infectious. So we think this is great not only for the community. It's great that John Houston's doing this. It's great that the school systems doing. I think it's a great feeder uh, for these for these young students to have something to do 
uh, you've got trouble with some too. <laughs> I, I think it's great that everybody's coming together like that. And I know John Houston is a great company. They, they focus on, on not only building great homes, but also building lasting relationships with, with their clients. Um, and it, it shows them what they do and the partnership they're willing to do and pour back into the community. Like you said, these guys are the future of the builders. That's right. And yep. We need these guys yeah. because we need great homes yep. and, uh, and all that. So um, if anyone has any questions about this program that's going on, you can contact me or Curtis Screen. And Curtis, how can they contact you? Um, my email address from the school district is cgreen at wisd.org. And that's, uh, I answer emails a lot better than phone calls. I right. <laughs> just simply because uh, I could be teaching a lesson and an email to pop up and they can still be working. I can't take a phone call. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if anyone has any questions about any of the Jay Houston products and any of the communities they serve, uh, in over 40 communities in the Dallas North area and also south towards Waco, contact the Insignia team and we can help you out with that. We appreciate it. Share this video with your friends and family. Let's get the word out of this great program that's going on here in Waxhachie and all these business partners. We appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you, Jim.